In ancient Japanese mythology, Yatsugatake and Mount Fuji were almost equal in terms of height, but Mount Fuji got jealous and was displeased of this competition, thus using all its might and gave Yatsugatake a beating. As a result, Yatsugatake had been broken into many mountains and Mount Fuji taking the throne as the highest mountain in Japan. This is how I hike Japan and for this episode I'll share with you my hike in the Yatsugatake mountain range. The Yatsugatake mountains has seven major peaks and for this video we are going to climb two of them. Hikers usually do this hike as a day hike, summiting most of the major peaks around Akadake. Most of the hikers have private vehicles or are trail running, but for commuters it is best to stay at one of the huts or camp at the designated campsites in the area for a much relaxing hike. For this hike, we summited two of its major peaks, Mount Aka and Mount Ami. So this is Amidaki guys, ah, beautiful. The idea is to camp at Gyojo Goya on day one and summit both mountains early in the morning on day two, catching our bus back to Chino Station. We traveled to Chino Station and took a bus going to Minoto Kuchi. At a normal pace, we reach Kyojogoya in about three and a half hours. The rainy weather and the cold temperature made the hike a bit comfortable, contrary to other people's opinion when hiking in the rain. Ten minutes to the camp, zero visibility. Yes. Tomorrow should be sunny and we've got eight hours of sunlight, so should be pretty good. Should be pretty stoked. I'm excited for tomorrow though. Upon reaching Gyojo Goya, we couldn't immediately pitch our tent because of the rain. Plus, we were starving, so we decided to order curry and rice at Gyojo Goya and experienced heaven for a while. This is classic Yamagoya curry. Mountain hot curry in Japan. What do they have here? Huh? Yeah, uh, this, is, rice. this is a beef curry actually. Curry itself, and you have the baby garlic. <laughs> baby garlic. And you have this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a radish. Some some kind of radish. Yeah. We wanted seconds, but it cost 1,000 yen, so we couldn't satisfy our hunger. Everything's expensive in Japan nowadays. Anyway, day one ended, having an early dinner and sleeping through the sound of the heavy rain. Day 2 was a big day. We climbed two of the major peaks of the Yatsugatake Mountains. The tour involves climbing through a series of chain sections, ropes, and ladders. Our first goal was to summit Amidake. Day 2 guys, we're going to summit Mount Aka. So yeah, wish us luck. Let's go. Vamos. Vamos amigos. I've been wanting to climb this one, but due to weather changes, I've cancelled a lot of times. But this, this, today, this is the day. This is the day. This is the day. <laughs> Whoa. 
Jesus. Mount Fuji, man. Oh. What's up, Pearl? Rejuvenating. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Oh. That's the first mission. Okay. We're approaching Amidake. This is gonna be fun. Climbing Amidake wasn't really hard, but we had to be very careful because of falling rocks. So a helmet is definitely a must. There was a bit of scrambling towards Amidake Summit. Guys, we've reached Amidake and now we're going to proceed to Akadake and I think it will take us an hour and a half maybe to traverse that one. We've got Yamanashi here. Beautiful. Mount Fuji there. And we've got Mount Fuji over there. Beautiful guys. Akadake was quite steep. There was a bit of a technical climb towards the peak. There were some steep drops in this section. Although it's dangerous, it wasn't very difficult to navigate. Just concentrate on where you put your hands and feet and check for loose rocks. A fit hiker will definitely have no problems climbing this mountain. For me, Amidake was equally as beautiful as Akadake. Although there is one thing I didn't like about Akadake, it was the crowd. Well, it's a famous mountain and one of the Hyakumeizang, so on a clear Sunday, this should be expected. <laughs> so if you are aiming to summit Akadake crowdless, I recommend climbing on the weekdays or in the winter time. <laughs> and that is our campsite and it'll take around 45 minutes from here to get there yo we are back and yeah. we are tired and hungry hungry too so we're going to wait for the bus here but we have to check what time is it going to be oh we got the bus yay actually there's a lot to see and many mountains to climb in this national park my goals are to climb this mountain in the next winter season because I was successful climbing Akadake last winter and also to summit all of the seven major peaks of the Yatsugatake mountains. That's two down and I have five more peaks to go. When climbing mountains in Japan, it is very important to tell your immediate family about your hiking plans. Also, before starting the hike, find time to look around and search for a box. It is usually located next to the trailhead. Beside this post box, there's a pile of paper and a box of pencils. Fill out the form and describe your itinerary. This is for emergency purposes, in case something goes wrong. You can do it online as well. Visit this website and describe your itinerary, and you're good to go. Are you ready to conquer the Yatsugatake Mountains? If you are, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more hiking guides, tips, and inspiration. Have you ever gone hiking in Japan? Please share your experience in the comments. If you have questions about hiking and traveling in Japan, feel free to reach out. I'll see you in the mountains. 
Till next time.